So good to be talking to the boys from Solomio. They join us in the studio. Hello, guys. Hey, How's it what's going? going? Very, very good. That was incredibly loud. It was, <laughs> it was like opera singers saying hi. Hi. <laughs> Fabulous. Hey, can, can you introduce yourselves like one at a time so we can get to know you? Yeah, my name is Moses Mackay. My name's Amitai Pati. And my name is Spine Pati. Oh, it's nice to meet you guys, and thanks so much for making the time to come and chat to us on Rima. No oh, problem. Yes, thanks thanks for having, having us. us. Now, you guys, uh, three Samoan New Zealand lads, are uh, doing incredibly well. Uh, amazing success at the moment. I mean, how did you start singing? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> right back to our childhoods. <laughs> yeah, we were actually forced to sing when we were young. <laughs> when we were little kids. Actually, we were uh, we started singing in church, and we had to we were singing in church choir White Sunday, and you know that that kind of got the ball rolling. Then my dad decided to form the Von Trapp family out of <laughs> me and my brother. Then we sang at this rest home for a long, long, long time, and that's kind of like how singing started. And we kind of joined choirs, got interested in classical music, and from classical moved on to opera. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so how did the uh, combination of the three of you come about? That wasn't until uh, until university, actually. Uh, it was one of those things, you know, you walk into a... Because, because uh, kids like us minority. growing up... Yeah, kids like us growing up who, who people wouldn't think would be interested in this type of music. Uh, we walked into a class in university that was... Well, majorly, what well, majority of the class was uh, made up of Europeans. Mm. So there are a lot of white faces in there. And uh, walking in, we kind of just, we kind of just uh, saw each other on the other side of the room and just thought, oh, you know, I don't know this guy, but I'm going to walk over to him because he's pretty much he's, the same as me. Yeah. <laughs> he's so the only just, other son in this talk, class. So I know that guy, this dude, and just try and get to know him as much as possible. So that's that's kind of how we how we uh, came together at university. But my brother and I, obviously. Uh, family and we met Moses at university so it was it was kind of there that we decided to you know stick together and just you know take our take our classical music to the next level yeah have you been surprised by how successful it's been and how well received you guys have been because everybody loves Solomia <laughs> <laughs> very surprised. Oh, very thank surprised. You, thank you. I think we're still in like kind of like a surreal state. I mean, even though it's been a, it's been a year since the release of the album, um, it still it still shocks us that you know that people are still buying our album. We have such a such an awesome support here in New Zealand. Um, but then it's always humbling when you go to places like uh, like America, when no one knows you and you're a complete nobody. Uh, <laughs> same with other places like France. You have to do. <laughs> You know, we, we you get stopped by the police. <laughs> stopped by the police. We had to we got stopped <laughs> for singing outside the Notre Dame, and uh, they chased us away. But that was you know that's that's always fine, and and it's always good to come home and, and see the family. They're always humbling you and telling you to do the lawns or do the dishes or you know <laughs> or have you. Yeah, I mean that is awesome. You just mentioned singing in front of the Notre Dame in, in Paris, but you've also sung at the Royal Albert Hall last I mean, week. Yeah, these are incredible opportunities that not many New Zealanders get to do. So, I mean, how does that sort of feel when you're standing on the stage at the Royal Albert Hall? Uh, I think it's a sense of pride. You know, you're going out there and you're representing New Zealand on this on this huge stage. And in the last month and a half, we've sung there now three times, and it's wow. kind of crazy. On the first time, you you have taken in by the surreal moment of what's happening. You're like, wow, Royal Albert Hall. And then just last week, we were actually singing there. And we were singing for the royal family, which was it was quite a massive feat. I mean, we kind of disregarded it in a sense. We were like, yeah, yeah, it's just a royal family. It's fine. <laughs> but then when we got up there, we saw them. We were like, oh, no, do not stuff it up. Yeah. <laughs> it felt very patriotic, you know. It was kind of, although we are part of the Commonwealth and not English, but right there and then you kind of felt very patriotic to be in New Zealand and to be, uh, to be a Kiwi standing there representing representing home and was there any feedback from Her Majesty the Queen from the Royals did, did anyone say hey she she loved it guys oh, spot I think, on I think oh, she, she gave us the wink yeah yeah she gave us the wink she gave us the wave the air scoop yeah <laughs> the, <air laughs> the woody <laughs> <laughs> she gave the woody yeah. yeah hey guys what's next for Solomir I imagine the world's your oyster at the moment you've probably got incredible things going on but can you give us a little glimpse well, we've got the Vodafone Music Awards coming up on Thursday we were nominated for five awards we've already won one so four. Um, then the next, we're performing there as well. And then the next morning we are performing for the Chinese president. Wow. Um, and the first lady. And that's going to be pretty cool. And then we fly out that night, this Friday. Friday night we fly out and we land in the UK on Saturday. And we're performing the Samoan anthem and also the English anthem at, inside Twickenham Stadium. Wow. Um, that night. That's and, amazing. Uh, so that's, that's the next few days. But then we're also touring the UK with a guy called Alfie Bo. Um, and that's going to be a crazy three weeks. 
We're back to New Zealand for two Christmas shows. We're doing one in Vill- in Villa Maria, which is the big one on the 21st, but also we've added another one on the 18th at Black Barn in Napier. And so these are Christmas concerts that we we really look forward to because you know we really Christmas is our the favorite time of the year for everybody. And who doesn't yeah. love Christmas? Who doesn't love? I mean, Christmas. It's the most is, wonderful time. It's of the year. so good. And, you yeah. know, it's all about about family, about food, and you know, and we're just really excited to come back and do it. And that's all in preparation for next year's tour, which is happening in February and March. That's awesome. So I imagine you can get tickets and things from Ticketmaster. Tick- and- yep. Yep. Yes, they're yep. all the usual you can, you places. Can find out, you can find out our details and stuff on our website as well. www.sorgreal.com. You, you, you gotta be quick though because it's selling so fast. Yep. Napier is already gone. It went out in a day, mm-hmm. and everything else is is just falling like no tomorrow. So it's yeah, it's disappearing. And grab a copy of the uh, concert DVD as well, which and is the a, book. a great Christmas present. <laughs> and the book. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be released in the new year. Hey, uh, Solomio, so good to have you guys in. Thank ah, you very thank much you. for your time. Thank you so much. Cheers.